Last year, I had a really dumb idea. I wanted to create a one-of-a-kind piece to show off on my desk. This series chronicles my ridiculous journey. This is the Apple Cinema Display Conversion Project. We'll jump right into it with the Apple Cinema Display teardown first. To get into the Apple Cinema Display, I went to the internet. iFixit is usually my first go-to for electronics disassembly, and they didn't fail me this time. They've got an Apple Service Technician manual posted with step-by-step -step disassembly instructions. Just what I need to get into this. I started by taking off the glass carefully with a suction cup and then pulling it away. That was my first peek at the broken bare display panel. I think I used a T8 screwdriver bit for all the screws throughout this monitor, but I can't remember. That panel is currently sitting unused and tucked away. Behind the panel, we get a look into the brains and power of the display, both of which are currently sitting aside. So far as I can tell using the service manual, the power supply and logic board actually both function perfectly fine. The display panel backlight was the primary problem with the monitor, and the suggested repair option would have been a full replacement anyway. Next to the power supply, you could see a blower style fan that provided cooling for the monitor, something that in all of my planning I had not originally accounted for. Over to the logic board, tons of connectors and plugs, Power from the PSU, connectors to the original MagSafe USB mini DP plugs, left, right, and subwoofer speaker connections, webcam, microphone, and LCD connector. I took note that the USB ports for this board were actually mounted to the PCB itself. Really interesting PCB design overall. I pulled out the blower, decided I should probably devise something similar to keep the Dell cool with it crammed into this case, and that complete design is still yet to come. The webcam that screws into the housing at the top was easy enough to remove, even had a 4-pin cable that I'll touch on in a later part. Down further now, we've got the three speakers. The left-right speakers are actually glued in place and I never bothered to peel them up. The subwoofer was easy to unscrew and popped right out. That gave me access to the AC plug unit and the all-in-one cable. A bunch of screws got those out, leaving me with an empty Apple Cinema display housing to use. Moving on over to the Dell U2415, this kind of sucks because I don't have any footage of this teardown and so far as I can tell, there isn't any documentation about it anywhere on the internet either. I was hoping I would stumble across a service manual for it, but I came up empty handed. First step was getting the standoff, which was actually jammed and stuck on my unit. But after a bunch of prying, I got it separated. This was the hard part. I couldn't see any screws holding the casing together so I was just hoping that it was using plastic clips. After a ton of prying and finagling, I got the back panel off. That revealed the electronics cage attached to the back of the panel. I unplugged what I assumed to be the backlight inverter, logic board power cable, front panel ribbon cable, another ribbon cable and three pin connector that both went to a small USB daughter board, and I unscrewed the electronics cage from the back of the panel. The PSU and logic board were both screwed into the cage with Phillips heads. The logic board was finicky, but came out of the cage with some force. The power supply on the other hand was a massive pain. One of the components was stuck and just took a ton of prying to get loose. I got it eventually though. Now initially, that was as far as I was going to disassemble the Dell, but as will be fully explained in a later part, I actually had to go one layer deeper. I pulled the screws out of the plastic bumper around the bare display panel. I pulled the panel out, which gave me easier access to remove the front plastic trim that houses the monitor controls. With that, my two monitors were fully disassembled. Now comes the fun part, trying to figure out how I was going to cram all of the features and design goals I want into the Apple Cinema display housing. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, drop me a like or a comment down below with your thoughts or suggestions. In the next part, I'll be going over the initial planning that I did last year as well as the work I had completed before life kinda got in the way. Hope you enjoyed. Toodles.